Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you see my face, my name is Alicia and I study politics and economics at LSE. You're distracting me, it's too cute. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be giving my free recommendations for economics podcasts. This video can be used for your personal statement if you want to include podcasts. Um, it can also be used to gain an insight into an economics degree or also to gain an insight into economics A-level before you study economics A-level. <laughs> This is a follow-up from my previous video on my top 10 economic books recommendations. So if you haven't watched that one, watch that after this. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the three podcasts and then I'll go back over them in a little bit more detail. Number one, Economics Explained. Number two, Free Economics Radio. And number three, Think Like an Economist. And you can find these on Spotify or on YouTube. So this is the one that I listen to the most. I still listen to this even though I'm at university and I find it very easy to digest. Um, I can listen to this on the train or when I'm just walking to uni or anything like that. Um, the length of the podcast range from like 20 to 45 minutes. So it's quite a nice listen. I also love their YouTube channel. Economics Explained is the only podcast that I watch on YouTube as well as Spotify because their graphics are just so nice. Um, they have like really nice B-roll. Um, over their footage this one has very interesting and broad topics it covers like a lot of international topics doesn't just focus on american economics so that's good for example they did a series on norway's economy and why it's like the perfect economy that was a very interesting video and the most recent video that i listened to was on the baby boomer period and why they are like richer than the generations that have come after them despite them you know having such a large cohort because that goes against economic theory because if you have loads of people being born in one generation you'd kind of expect that cohort to be more uncompetitive because you know there's more people fighting for jobs in the labor market and so and so forth but the baby boomer period has been so rich and they have so much voting power but yeah i don't want to ramble on about it too much it's just very very interesting so yeah, I would give that podcast a 10 out of 10 and I'd recommend everyone to listen to it. Number two is Think Like an Economist. This is also a very interesting podcast because it kind of takes like conversation format. It roots economic theory into reality a bit. So it's very interesting because I feel like the number one thing that I hate, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, is like when you're studying something and it just seems so abstract, it's just not real life. Whereas economics is real life, especially when you listen to podcasts like this. The most recent episode that I listened to was inequality understanding the gap between rich and poor i actually ended up like switching it off halfway through actually because i just thought that was one of the ones that was a bit more um basic and i just feel like because now i'm at university it's not like challenging enough for me so th that podcast i would highly highly recommend if you're a gcse student or if you're just like at the start of a levels it, it would be really good um, or if you just want to like do some quick A-level revision or something. And I will say that about this podcast. This podcast is the best for like A-level economic revision because they have episodes on those big topic areas that you do in economic theory, such as uh, fiscal and monetary policy and unemployment. And obviously it's really good to push yourself to get like an A-star in economics is actually having real world examples. Bear in mind with this podcast that they don't upload as frequently and that I think it was discontinued because the last episode that came out was in 2021. All the episodes that are there are still very good and hopefully they continue again. Last but not least is Free Economics Radio. Now this one is way more in depth than the other two that I mentioned and I feel like this is one of those ones that like lecturers um, listen to professors and like some teachers have um, like recommended a few episodes to me as well it's very good for research and essays and I've used this podcast many times if I just want to start thinking about some ideas before I start to write an essay or before I start to research for example I did an essay on Uber's dynamic pricing algorithm and I listened to a free economics research radio episode on uber so that was very helpful for economics uploads the most regularly they upload every five days they also have a lot longer episodes though it's not as easy to digest um sometimes episodes can go up to like about an hour and some topics that they've done that are interesting um is abortion trade unions and then uber which i just mentioned but i feel like free economics is also very american i mean they're all very very american um 
but yeah i'd actually love to start my own economics podcast one day who knows talking about interesting topics that's going on in real life but yeah that's it for this a little bit of a short one and if you haven't watched the previous video that i just filmed on books that i recommend definitely check that one out too i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe so you get to see my face again thank you bye Thank you.